keep this one holding? I don't know. Uh, ten feet maybe. Hey guys, welcome back to Pullman Farms. Uh, this video is going to be kind of over the next week, two weeks, I, I don't really know. This kind of depends on uh, how much we do, how much stuff we do that's uh, worth filming and how I feel. So, But yeah, today we just got a little bit to do here. We had to finish bedding cows and then uh, shaking off the last bale right now. We got to go check out some pigs, go uh, get rid of some deads. And then uh, that's probably going to be it for this part of the video. And the next time you see it, it'll, the next next part will probably be in a different day. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here for a little bit when we're not real busy this time of year. So I'm going to try to make it so it's 15 minutes. Hopefully I can make a video 15 minutes out of two weeks, but I'm not going to be able to guarantee it. We haven't been uh, real busy other than hauling corn, and that's just repetitive. But I am uh, I'm rebuilding a 656 my grandparents gave me. They told me uh, come get it or they're scrapping it. So I went down and got it. It hadn't run in 20 years. And we got it running last year. I got it about March last year. So I went and got it running and played with a little bit this year just to make sure everything was going to work and it's going to keep running. And uh, now I'm getting it. We're rebuilding it pretty much well fully restoring it honestly at this point get the motors getting worked on right now getting sleeves put in it and I'm kind of out of stuff to do on that till I get my motor back but once we get the motor back we have to put it back together and start piecing this thing back together so that'll be a, quite a few videos yet but yep so we're gonna finish doing this for the day and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next part cow's done so we we'll grab Aiden and we'll go uh, we'll get some pigs so we got a couple dead ones to drag out here and Aiden's in trouble so he gets the privilege of doing it. That's what I was told. I just get to help him and make sure he does it. So, you know what to do. Yep. Yep, get her done. Hey, piggies. Got water pressure. That's good. Feed lines, feeders are all full. No other uh, major problems up here. None that I can see. Fans are working. Feeders are full. Pigs are happy. So, wait for Aiden to get done and hey, got the pigs in the bucket. Let's go dump them on the compost. You get your punishment served? Uh, that was awful. Oh, they're just dead pigs. Can't be that bad. So, yep, we're done. Let's go. Home. Here's that 656 that I'm working on. We uh, we got him pretty well cleaned up. Pretty well ready to paint once we uh, get the motor put back in it. This, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a problem. When we were taking them out, the, uh, 
the two rings that aren't on there fell out in pieces on my head. So they, uh, she's uh, those ones were junk. But yeah, other than that, it's I mean, just the bearings are wore, but she's really was in pretty good shape. We'll go over here and look at the crank, clutch and stuff in here, flywheel, oil filter, the oil filter housing, pump oil, or uh, looks like a cooler too. Injectors, new injectors. And here's the crank. It's it's all really good, really good, clean shape. Yeah, here's all the rest of the little stuff. I painted some of it, just kind of poking away at some of the hard to get stuff, like inside of the frame rails. I'm gonna put a wide front on it, so I'm gonna take that little piece off a little spindle deal, put a wide front on. Be a little. A little handier for what I want to do with it. Well, that's what we got going on with this thing, and hopefully we can get some get stuff back and start getting videos and putting it back together. So anyway, uh, that's all I had for the day. Um, I think I've got enough footage. I'm probably going to change it up. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I thought this would be a go over a couple days, but I think I got enough here to make one. It'd be a lot short, but yeah, it'd be all right just to get a handful of videos out. So. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it. So if you guys liked what you saw, uh, you can subscribe to YouTube. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram at Pullman Farm, Snapchat, and TikTok at Farm Brothers 3. And I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you the rest of it over here in pieces.